We should tell a certain legend time by word of mouth has brought us, how inherited tradition of perfection much has taught us, doors and windows, clustered columns, tell of fleeting days and hours, all of which lent trusting wonder to their Bishop Richard's powers. Now, when that well-recommembered writer and commentator Daniel D. Foe travelled over the country in 1724 and passed through Salisbury, he quoted Dick Rhyme, which tells us how our cathedral has as many gates as moons each year, as many windows as there are days, and as many columns as ours in the year. Dick were just one of several long-recommembered legends of perfection attached to our cathedral, and in course tis easy to take it all in and pass it on without ever checking out the facts and so i got me counting head on and had a little stud on nick marvellous building certainly there were thirteen gates and doors that's the easy bit on it and includes stairway doors doors at entry and main porches in the nave and transepts but none in the east end of the building in course there be hundreds of windows all over the shop it couldn't hardly match up to the days of the year but see look at each bay in the cathedral and you do see two pointed lancet windows down below in the aisle and three up above there in the clear story well then count the bays there's ten each side the nave four each side of each main transept three each side the choir and again the presbytery and three each side of both eastern transepts that's sixty bays with five windows three hundred and in those western bays in the transepts there's also windows at triforium level making two sets of three in each of these bays that's sixty so three hundred and sixty and there in course you can add the five in the trinity chapel to make three six five or some other combination so it do work if you applies a little mind work to it the pillars of purbeck marble be a little more difficult there be so many bunched together all over the shop but working it out on a theoretical basis like the windows it do work see as we the windows there be sixty bays forty six on em of regular type and having each on em fifty one columns and in they slightly different western walls of the transepts there again be fourteen bays each with thirty columns making two seven six six now as we the winders if he adds the columns of the trinity chapel 58 you gets 2824 which as ours be nowhere near the length of the year but then see the rhyme have always said the fleeting year or the year that have passed so far our cathedral were founded on the 28th of april in 1220 and two eight two four hours would bring exactly to four p m on twenty eighth of april now that's pretty good and tis all me own work now in music the octave be a special relationship and you hears the harmony on it without realizing it the same applies to harmony in architecture for the space frame of salisbury cathedral be measured out be special harmonious steps and you absorbs them in your eyes without realizing it the building tells you itself how beautiful it be really tis all about numbers and ratios in particular the zets are rising numbers named for an italian mathematician fibonacci so that most parts of the cathedral from the big parts to the smallest designed parts of quatrefoils and so on all on em be somewhat related and looks perfect in fact the year of the foundation 1220 were itself a fibonacci number another interesting number be three six five the days of the year and if you measure the distance from the centre of the cathedral that is under the tip of the spire northwards to the lawn wall of the close it be exactly three six five feet and three six five feet further north be the close wall itself and double that north again be st thomas's church where if he stands at noon on midwinter's day the spire of the cathedral be seen to be capped by the blazing sun almost like the spire were the gnomon of a giant sundial 
Indeed, if it were, it couldn't have a cleaner, better dial to play over. They lovely green lawns starting off on the southwest and stretching all round the north to the southeast. Really, it couldn't be better. A similar idea occurred to me some years ago when I were in the cathedral about midday and looked up at the windows in the south transept. It were the Hequinox, March the 21st, and the sun were right there shining a good and drew the ball window at the top of the south wall, shining indeed, right down to the centre point of the crossing. The equinox used to be marked in the decision of when Easter should be held each year, so finding that quarterly moment of the year marked like that might be expected. But surely it be but one of many such things designed into that perfect cathedral. Francis Child, who writ rhymes and stories of Salisbury in her 1849 book, The Spinster in the Close, noted another old legend, that the exterior parts of the cathedral measures a full half mile around, what we all they buttresses and niches on the ground's face, and she had someone measure it all out and confirm it to her. Well now, you know how I likes a good walk, especially we a Sunday dinner at the end on it. So I got me clumpers out and strode out all round it just like she did, heel to toe, heel to toe. And she were right, Bigar, it do come to half a mile. Now all that makes thee think a little on they girt stone circles like walled stone henge, and the relationships with the movements of the heavens, which in course were perhaps some it they had thought on at the time. After all, Stonehenge, Walled Castle and Salisbury Cathedral be exactly spaced out on a straight line from each other. It's on the map, you can look it up. If our wonderful cathedral were indeed thought on as perfect and special, like its builder Elias Adairam were thought on as the only honest man in England, that is a bit special, well, maybe it's worth looking a little deeper at the building itself in the future.